Hello, my name is Lira Yu. You, do, you have to determine who your audience is first. I mean, different artists have different audiences. You know, you can have like just a, a single audience and that, that's, I guess that's valid. I mean, who am I to like say that's not, you know, that's not valid. Well, I do believe that art uh, attains its potential as, as, a, as a work if it, uh, it's able to like uh, communicate with an with an audience, like if it, if if, it, if there's like some sort of encounter that happens, it's hard for everyone. So I guess we're not exempt from that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and um, yeah, and we always just have to like figure out a way to you know uh, make it out alive, or like create some sort of practice that's. Uh, that is able to sustain itself and to make a difference somehow. That's up to whoever the artist is. Oh, I have like a, I've come up with my own specific practice, mm. which is a response to you know my like personal histories, my physical conditions, the resources that are available to me, and what I make out of them. So yeah, you you definitely uh, you have like your own dynamics, and you end up like with very different results. I initially trained in using. I'm being dependent on my hands. Because that's what a lot of basic arts training is. Mm -hmm. They try to improve on your 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 already existing skill. You know? They improve on that, and uh, and it's up to you. They give you like the the intellectual tools to actually come up with the work to create a work. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like directly from your hands. You can collaborate with people. You can collaborate with make other makers, manufacturers, or whoever. You know, your work doesn't necessarily, some works don't necessarily have to be made per se, like physically made, you know, so yeah.